The Mad Carp Chaser. What Mad Carp Chaser? I know we said that we ain't gonna be on until uh, in the uh, that's fishing wise. Thought we'd do a bit of rig time. Our sponsor has sent us some. Uh, this is a uh, point gear, by the way. I know it says mad carp chasers, but you gotta have your options open in the winter. So AK Fishing, our sponsor. I'll leave the link down there. Sent us some gear. Some wire trays, some trebles, I think they're size 8, size 8 trebles, and some swivels. In the new year, this AK Fishing will be hitting up a new, uh, a new venture, it's called AK Tackle, which is it deals with carp stuff as well, so you'll be, you'll be able to get some carp gear off her. I know they've started getting the stock and stuff in there, so I'm aware of that. So what I'll do is uh, when they send us some carp gear out, we'll, uh, we'll do another one of these big times. But as I say, I know it says make carp chases, but we've got to have our options open in the winter. As you can tell that the carp get really really uh, hard to hard to fish for in the winter so AK fishing check them out description below I'll leave a link what I'm gonna do is uh some rig time so what I'll build a trace for you I'll show you how to build a trace to be honest with you it's the first time I built one but I'll always read up on things before I start fishing so I like to build all my own stuff I don't like buying wire traces, but like pre-made wire traces and stuff, even though they sell them. But I, I prefer to build my own, so if you catch, you know everything's unique to yourself, you've done it to yourself and etc. So yeah, I'll be using some of this wire trace from AK Fishing. And obviously the AK Fishing trebles. Some AK fishing swivels, and I've just got some of my own shrink wrap here. What I'm going to use, so yeah. What I'll do is I'll get back in touch with you in two minutes. Uh, we'll build a rig together. Happy days. Well, my car chasers, I'm back. I'm going to show you how to build one of the rigs now. What I'll do is about four foot off. Three foot. Just make it longer than what you need because obviously you get tech tech bits off you can't put it on. What you do is get one of the AK hooks. Make a loop. Well, it's that loop, just fold it over. I'm doing it about three inch. You pinch the end so it's easy to get through the old yolk. Take one of yolk. Go through with a loop. A loop. Do is go through with the end of the lid. Get the wire trace, pull it up, and same again with your tag end. Do the same bit of the loop, pull it up. Like that, see that. Yeah, both parts for a, what you do is pull that tight. Pull that 
nice and tight. See, I've got to tease it down a bit because of the damn wire. So this is where the uh, the pliers come into play. Hold on to the hook. Pull nice and tight. Tease it down. Make sure you don't bend any of the uh, other hooks out. Okay, it's nice and tight now. That won't go anywhere as it is, but what, what, what I like to do, being left on there, I've got to change over. Hold the tag in, let us angle like that. Let's wrap around. Twist in the hook, keep it nice and tight, neat. Keep twisting. Twisting. Got a few. What's that about? About seven twists, eight twists. In your line. Not so line. Four tries. Okay. Pull that nice and tight. Can't get a new set of pliers, these are crap. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Solid. What you wanna do is I like to give it a bit of heat. Only a little run over with it. And all you do is get the tag end, chop the tag end off. I'd use wire cutters for this because obviously you don't want the same trouble as me. Holy shit. And then what I'll do, yeah, basically you look like that, bloody fine. I'm going to do all the backing in there. Twisted, and obviously, that loop bit would be there. So, you do a loop, you go through the eye, you bring the tag end through that loop, and then you bring the whole length of it through the loop, pull it tight, and then you do the twists. A lot easier than uh, carping. And this is a this is just a preference, but I, I, I always do it with every week. Bit of a shrink tube. No matter what rig I use, big car, pop up, zig, anything I've always put shrink tube on. Make sure it's covering the whole lot. The twist that is. 
I've got to go up. Give it a bit of heat. It's about to aim it down. I just push it to flow with the line now. You get it nice and straight. Nice and straight, you can obviously move it about there. Hold it for a second just to let it set. First bit done. If the boy's a bit warm, you can move it about just to strain it even more so that straightens it all. I'll leave that there so I can pop it up every time now. Like that. Play. You do is get your second hook. I lost these hooks earlier on the floor. Just make sure you, if you're doing a rig at home, put something bright on it so you can see the bloody things when you drop them on the floor. I would hate to think what would happen if that went in someone's foot. Go through the eye. You can have it so it's running. So you basically you leave it like that and just put some shrink, shrink tube on it. Tighten it up a bit. So you can have it so it goes up and down like that. So I've had mobile ones, but I'm gonna set this one. So what you do is just just to show you if you know you wanna set them, you can set them. I'm gonna do it about because I'm only using sprats. So about three, four inches away from each other. That far. And then one in the head, one in the one in the head. Well, the top fin, and one in the tail. Probably go a bit wider. What you do is hold it nice and level with the hook. You just do it. Five turn a uh, flipper knot. One, two, three, four, five. I might do seven, six, seven. Tell the Lord, done eight. You come down. Obviously, if you're using high strain braid, I think this is twenty pound. It's going to be a lot harder, so just bear in mind of that. So pull back through the eye. Uh, so that one's tied off. Just get a little tug, get your pliers in there again. Go right to the end because you don't want any kinks in it. Give it a pull. Now that one's set. Look at that. First ever pod brick made. Looking great. Same again. Puncture. Don't have to have this one too long just to cover obviously your hook and the order hook order hook and a bit of the line to strain it out. 
So that's an uh, inch and a half. And go up. Over the hook. You want to go over all the turns that you've done in the hook. Alright. And sign again. Thank you. Are you using the Welsh one? Let's go up, let's go around it. King all around on the guys. It's so all good. Sweep it up again. Hold it straight. And there we go. business end that's a bit messy but I have and it does the job yeah, I'll tidy it up a bit what you want to do put some more shrink tube Tube, not too big. Pop that on. And this comes down to your own preference. Whatever size you want your rig, basically. But I'm going to have a long one. So boom. I don't know how long that is. So about 20 inch. A bit longer than that. What you do is get a swivel, like AK fishing swivels. Can the tits on know exactly where it is? You're gonna have to do the same as what you did on the first hook. Kink it. I did have a swivel out. Oh, there it is. You go through the eye of the swivel. Through the eye of the swivel. Bring it closer because you don't need more muscle in there more. Eye of the swivel. What you're doing is make it put it a bit wider because you need to get a hook through this now. Open it up so you can get hooks through. You do exactly the same as what you did down there. So you go through with the tag end. There's your tag end. Push it up a bit. Loop, tag end. Pull it through, pull it up a bit. Hold that. Now what you do is you've got to go through with the hook. The other hook. And you pull that up. Can be a bit fiddly. 
think you get the point. Pull the tag end and the hook length bit together. Let me show you if you can see that. There's the original loop. What we went through the eye with. There we kinked off. And then these are the tag end and the hook length. Pull it out. Nice and tight. Get your trusty old pliers in. Pull it. That's what I mean about getting a good set of pliers because absolutely bollocks. There you go. Because you can't spin it with that, what you're going to have to do is manual, one of the good things to do is hook the hook on something, and at least you can work it around then. Tag on. Get a good kink so you know it's going to stick there. Take it off. Give it a pull. That's what you left with now is twist. Do is probably uh, I suppose you could use a anti tangle slave, which I should have really. Obviously, it'd be a lot wiser to use steam if this heats up too quick. That's all heated up because I think you've grasped the point of that. So, all that's heated up, all shrunk down. A bit more there. Yeah. That's it, that right, tight on there, that ain't going anywhere. Gonna go over the eye of the swivel so it folds back in on itself just before the uh, the point point or crimp of the bit of the swivel. It bends back in, so I'll do it with my car ones, with everything else. So if a pipe or anything does try and pull away from itself, I'll back rigs in the past where these have come off slid down the bloody line so gone over the eye you can see that over the eye of the swivel just going right up and there's the wire tries business end All the way down to the swivel. I'll be using this when I go again. Yeah, the store. If you haven't got one of the AK fishing rig boxes, rig tubes, there's like a new tube box where you can store your, you could even store choddies in it to be honest with you. What I do is I Loop it over, put the hook point on one of the edges, fold round, and that's 
just come all loose again. The joys of using traces. Maybe we'll go round, hold, pull, tighter. What you want to do is try and get this so it's on the first hook, so like that. There's the first hook, there's the back of the swivel, and you just twist around, and then it stops any kinks getting to your the line. Then. That could be stored in a tackle box. Happy day. So yeah, that's how the well, my first ever one that is. I've read up about it, read loads and loads of how to do a that's a fixed double treble wire trace. You can have the uh, top treble, not obviously the one right on the top, but the middle one. You can either have that running or you can have it fixed. I've decided to have it fixed in this video. Just for the simple fact is I wanted, I wanted to put more the uh, rig building aspect into it to show you exactly what you can do with a fixed one. And then with without a fixed one, what you do is just put it on the hook. Put it through the uh, eye of the trice and then you put your uh, heat shrink on it. Shrink it down. So if I do it this way, to show you exactly how to do it fixed, and then obviously the running run, running one comes in with it. So hope you enjoyed the video. What I try for poiking. I'll be using this when I'm on the bank next for poiking. It should be soon. Check out AK Fishing. All all the uh, products I've used today is from AK Fishing. Good stuff. Proudly sponsoring Mad Carp Chasers. They will be doing carp gear in the new year. Very shortly. But they will they'll be named. This is an old logo by the way. The new logo is different. But I'll put the new logo right there. So yeah. Check them out. I'll put the link in the description. Of the Facebook page and the... Uh, but, but, yeah, Facebook page, shop for you. Check them out. The carp one will be, as I say, be up in the new year. That's AK Tackle. This is AK Fishing. So, yeah, keep an eye out. Keep updated. Follow us on Facebook down below. Happy days. I hope you have a good year, new year. Peace. The Mad Carp Chasers.